Let's take a look at PadShop from Steinberg. PadShop is a granular synthesizer which allows samples to be broken down into thousands of tiny bits and pieces. Take those little bits and pieces or grains and allow you to do synthesis based at that level. So when we come to PadShop, we'll see our waveform here, which is where we'll have our samples. Now we have two different layers. So we have layer A plus a layer B. So these could be two different samples with two completely independent settings. You could activate each layer right here, and you have a blend between the two layers. Below that, we'll have our adjustments for our synthesis functions at the granular level, our envelopes, plus a modulation matrix. Built-in effects for coursing and delay. Uh, we have PatchShop Pro, which is a simple update from the Steinberg website, which will also offer you three bands of EQ, plus an algorithmic reverb. Now, PatchShop is capable of creating incredibly complex tones and harmonics. So let's go ahead and just play a couple presets here. So you can see that it's dealing with not the full sample, but just individual slices. And let's go ahead and find another. So let's say we want to kind of build our own sound with Pad Shop. How can we start? I'll go ahead and we'll choose layer A and we'll initialize the values here. And let's start by loading up a sound. So we have a number of sounds that come with the application. So let's say I want to go to perhaps a synthesizer sound. We'll load up one called Blip Blop. That sounds interesting. Now when we first kind of play a note, you may notice that it'll sound kind of like this which is maybe unexpected. So you may have to adjust the duration to kind of get the full value. Now this duration will allow you to take very interesting results. So if I wanted to kind of just break apart, if I adjust this parameter. I also have a speed control. Let's say if I want to move this into a negative value, I could actually play the samples from, from right to left. I could choose different start or ending positions. Now you may notice that some of the parameters like the spread have been grayed out and these will be grayed out until you actually go into your number of granular streams and make this more than one. So now if I want to go to my spread of my duration, or adjust it on my pitch, adjust the length. Apply my filters. Now, users have also requested when Patch Shop is released the ability of importing your own samples. And again, just upgrade to Patch Shop Pro. And let's say if I want to take a sample here from my main project window, take this. Because today's the day. And if I wanted to incorporate that into my pad shop, just simply drag, drop, and now let's adjust our duration so we can hear it. And now as we play. Cause today, cause today, All right, so let's do some creative work with the vocal here. Cause today, so maybe I want the synthesis to kind of start right there. Today's the day. Cause 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 today's the day.
is today. Now he's going to play with the different parameters. Now you can also get some really, really creative results just taking these same samples and dragging them into other presets. So if I wanted to open up a completely different preset, so let's say we'll come here, just pick one randomly and drag and drop that sample in. Now hitting a note. Or try another preset. Or again, loading one of the included samples. So let's say a cello sound, like a pizzicato cello. So as you can see, you have endless possibilities with creating new, fresh, exciting sounds with Pad Shop and Pad Shop Pro.